a few. I'm ready to kick more than a few. <laughs> At this point, what are, you more com what are you more confident right now? You're kicking or you're punting? Or, or I think I'm confident in all three phases, to be honest with you. I, I've worked, you know, equally amount of time on, on all three. Um, so I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go for Saturday. I'm really amped up. Where does that confidence come from, Mike? Why? Uh, just lots of, I mean, lots of reps. Um, you know, I talk about having efficient reps um, and not having a lot of them. Um, you know, and I think that I've had a lot of efficient reps. Uh, Coach Jones knows since doing all three, you've got to kind of tone it down a little bit. But when you go out and you kick or you punt, you got to make sure those reps count. So, Has there been more emphasis with fewer kicks on your special teams this fall? Absolutely. Um, you know, we do, we've done a lot less kickoffs. Um, but, you know, kickoffs have been a really big emphasis. Uh, but the fact that, you know, when we go out there, you know, it's it's time to go. We got to make those reps count. So I think uh, Coach Jones understands that. The coaching staff understands that. So I think that's really helped me a lot. I'm sorry if you were asked this, but do you expect to do all three on Saturday? Is that the plan? Absolutely, absolutely. That's what Coach Jones has, has led me to believe. Um, so uh, you know, I'm I'm ready to go for whatever uh, situation I'm thrown into on Saturday. What do you think? How do you think Saturday night will play out? I mean, you think you get a lot of extra point attempts, and you know, maybe not too many field goals. Or? I, sh I sure hope so. More, more extra points and field goals and punting. Uh, that means our offense is rolling and our defense is doing a pretty good job. Um, but I, you know, I, I don't really anticipate much. Uh, you can't really anticipate anything because football is a game of, of ups and downs and, and a lot of emotions. So uh, I'm just, I mean, I'm just ready to go for Saturday and expect, you know, kind of just do whatever I have to do when I get on the field. I know the answer may be fairly obvious, but how, how is the mindset different for you to run out there on a punt situation versus lining up for a field goal? Uh, field goal is putting points on the board. You know, that's, you know, there's a little more pressure to it, but at the same time, the flip side to it is punting is, you know, you're changing field position. You're helping out the defense. So, uh, one, you're helping out the offense. The other, you're helping out the defense. And, and you know, kind of that, that pressure comes from just having to do what you have to do. Uh, you don't flip the field and, and change field position on a punt, you know, you're not doing your job. And, and you know, the defense kind of has a short field to play with, and that's not good for them. Uh, field goals, if they get in field goal range and, and it's a missed field goal, whatever it may be, then, you know, you didn't put three points on the board like you should. So um, I, I think, you know, the mindset is the same, just going out and just having to do it, whatever you have to do. As absurd as it might sound, how taxing is it or is it to, to handle all three? Um, it, it, it's pretty tiresome sometimes, um, but at the at the end of the day, and I've been doing it for a while, um, so I'm used to it. I, I you know, the, the trainers and the strength staff uh, do a lot of stretching, a lot of recovery stuff. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, my legs may be tired, but by the next day, I'm well rested and I'm ready to go. Mike, you've been kicking the whole month in kind of a practice setting, and now you got to kind of flip it. You know, I don't know if you can just flip the switches. So kicking a live atmosphere, right. kicking a game. Just, is there any way you can help prepare for that, that, that kind of that, that changeover at uh, all? I mean, I would I would just say mentally just, you know, putting yourself in that game situation. Uh, Coach Jones loves doing uh, game rate field goals in practice. Um, even though you don't have the fans, you don't have the stadium and the crowd, um, at the end of the day, it's the same kick. Uh, so mentally, you just have to tell yourself, you know, this is you, you got to expect this throughout a game. You got to expect crowd noise. You got to expect distractions, and that's why Coach Jones loves doing that kind of stuff. He loves tapping you, saying your name, trying to get you to focus or you know unfocus um, on, on the task at hand. So, um, but you know, it, it's just kind of a mental thing. You just got to be able to put yourself in that situation. I know, I know you kicked during the open practice. So there were a lot of you know you had to kick a lot there. Just what was that? You know that. Is that advantageous for you, you think to go and kick in, in the stadium and know that you know, we're going to be kicking all year? Absolutely. You know, we we actually uh, just I just got back from the stadium. Uh, the, the specialist went over and, and kicked in the stadium, and because that's where we're going to be spending most of our time kicking. You know, after we spend our time kicking out here, we're going to spend our time kicking in there. Uh, you know, just to kind of get acclimated with the surroundings. I know I've been doing it for a while, but you know, it doesn't hurt. Um, so the open practice was a, was a good lesson, especially the weather. Um, you know, how it rained, wet balls, I mean, stuff like that, it's going to happen, you know, so uh, I think the open practice was kind of a good start to just kind of get yeah. used to kicking in the stadium. Was, was today your first time you kicked in Newland, just in a regular practice day? Or no, no, we've, 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 been, we've been doing it all throughout camp. Um, Coach Jones really emphasized going and, and kicking out uh, in the stadium because that's, you know, like I said, that's where we're going to spend our most of our time kicking, so uh, he's, you know, he's done a, a good job of letting us do that. Mike, another question here from Ballquest. What about Coach Jones separates him from, from other head coaches in terms of his approach to special teams? Uh, I mean, the emphasis is huge. Um, 
is, you know, punt, punt is his thing. I mean, you guys see it all the time. You know, he, he says it's the best period of the day. Uh, punt is his thing. Uh, special teams, um, in general, you know, special teams wins ball games. It's the difference between, you know, three or four wins in your season, um, always throughout, and, you know, every team season. Um, so, you know, he emphasizes it more than anyone that I've ever, you know, been a part of, you know, even in high school. Uh, and, that's, and, and that's kind of a huge, a, a huge part in you know, my success and in my confidence. He was working out those off times today. I mean, how much do you relish beating his goal or getting an off time that he likes? Well, you don't want Coach Jones in your butt, that's for sure. You, I mean, you don't, you, don't want it, you don't want him yelling at you because when he has that microphone, the, you know, the whole, all of Knoxville can hear you. Um, so, you know, you want to get it under two seconds on a punt. Um, but, you know, he's emphasized that the get off times are huge. Um, and, you know, just making sure that he's he's not, you know, on you about it. Uh, but you got to be consistent with it. You know, you can't be kind of up and down, up and down, up and down. you got to be straight with it. Doing all of them, how, how do you taper off? How much do you taper off heading into the season? And how do you prepare for a game and as far as warm-ups, knowing that you may be kicking a lot that night? Um, I, you know, I always I always watch the number of reps that I take, especially in warm-ups before a game. Make sure that I don't do a lot because I may be doing a lot in the game. You know, you never know. But you want to take enough to where you're prepared, you're ready, um, kicking on both sides of the field, uh, punting on both sides, doing kickoffs on both sides. Um, so, you know, just just making sure that the number of reps that I take, you know, are, are minimal but very effective. Um, you know, good reps, solid reps, just to uh, get a nice little sweat in uh, before before a game and warm up. Um, and I think that's that's good. For not important to quit on a good one. Oh man, it's uh, definitely a confidence booster. You know, it's 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 tough to if you miss. You don't want to end on a miss. You know, you want to end on a good one, or you you don't want to end on a shank punt. You want to end on a good one. Uh, so that's kind of a, a big emphasis. Just just going into your next kick, you have that confidence because you basically just did that. How much does it help to go to go to the stadium during practices? I mean, obviously, I guess the mentality is to get used to kicking where you're going to be kicking during games. So how much has that helped you guys to, to do that? Uh, it, I mean, it's, it's helped tremendously. Um, you know, Coach Jones always says that's where you're going to spend your time on Saturday. Seven games out of the 12, you're going to be in the stadium. So you got to get used to the win. you got to get used to looking at the stadium, the different things that you're going to be seeing around, and uh, the weather, you know, all types of that, that, that types of stuff. So, um, you know, Coach Jones really emphasized it, and I think it's really beneficial. Of and that's not something you've done in years past, you know. When no, no. I, I, we may have done it a couple times, but definitely not as much as, as yeah. Coach Jones wants us to, which, it, which really helps. Is it every day or just about every day? No, it's not every day, but you know, because most of our time we spend here because we yeah. got a lot of periods throughout practice. Yeah. At the end of practice, he wants us here. Um, you know, we just kind of whenever we have time to go over and take our time and go do stuff in the stadium. That's what we do. Okay. Thanks, no, man. No problem.